Welcome back, Calvin Crazies, and today Calvin's doing carne asada. I'm just using the third person for alliteration, by the way. And we're gonna do our fire on the barbecue, unlike dear friend of the channel, Curio, who does his fire on the beat with his raps. We need an album, we're not forgetting. <laughs> All right, so you ready to see what Kyria does on the beat? Yes, I am. He makes fire. It took a few clicks. Child safety lock almost got me. So you really want to like lighter fluid this up so it doesn't burn out. Especially because you see, like, I, I really need a new girl at this point. Yeah. Like, we're a couple videos away from making a GoFundMe, because look at this, I have a grate on top, and if you look at the bottom, it's filled with sawdust. And then I got this container down here that's just filled with old grilled charcoal dust. And it's where I pour the alcohol I don't like into, like the four locos. So it's it's lit, so we're waiting for it to like light and burn down a bit before we put on the meat. Uh, carne asada doesn't take very long to cook because the strips are so thin. So until then, Cody, you know what I'm thinking? Oh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Bench press? Oh, hell yeah. Tell me how many. <laughs> I'm feeling 100, I don't know about feeling you. feeling 100. <laughs> I can go for a while. Update, I added too much lighter fluid on it, burned the plant a little. Oh shit, my mom's behind us. Pretend like we didn't burn the plant. Yeah, so like you can tell like the stem. Like, there. We were so close to a third fire. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> How's my form? No, oh, it's pretty good. Wow, that's good. You ready to see how valid white boy makes his walk? Yeah, I am. Mojeca. All right, so it's carne time. So this carne asada is, uh, we did olive oil, one orange, one lime, half cup cilantro, four cloves garlic, uh, and then we did cumin, oregano, chili powder, salt, pepper, and mixed it together. It's been marinating four hours. So we're gonna get the fire flattened. Flattening the fire is what I call it too when I turn down the curco. So that way our meat doesn't burn. Beautiful meat. So if you're probably wondering what steak I'm using, uh, I don't know. It was on sale at Smart and Final because it had to be eaten by today. So I got all this for eight dollars. Wow. I know. Citrus is a natural tenderizer, salt's a tenderizer, and then everything else makes it good. And we got the Tecante to sip on. Local legend Remo said, he's like, you gotta pair the beer with the food. <laughs> when you do the carne asada, you have to have the tecate. Here's our beautiful guac. We mashed it all up. Some salt, some lime. A little tecate. A little tecate. So we're gonna flip these. We might flip them a couple times, but... Look at that. You want your carne to be well done and not burnt, so that's why you gotta kind of rotate and flip a lot. Find the hot spots. We're gonna do some tortillas on the grill while the carne finishes up. We'll start some. So, you know how it is, you gotta have the meat rest before you cut it, especially beef. Alright, so we're gonna build some plates. So we'll do some cheese ones. So these straight cheese ones, these are gonna be, have some salsa, pico.
and that's your plate and oh my is it beautiful it is now it's what we've been waiting for time to eat so we'll start them off with just trying these cheese so it's just cheese guac pico and a tortilla how is it it tastes like you expect <laughs> nothing wrong there good little appetizer the main thing is that carne asada You got your carne, you got your onions and cilantro, you got your salsa. <coughs> good marinade, good marinade steak. Good tortilla. We got all, we went to the Mexican market. We got salsa, we got pico. <coughs> but yeah, it's good marinade. All right, carne asada, above average. Um, the steak we got, the bargain steak, did not turn out pain that good so it was just pretty much meat with good salsa and tortillas but it's pretty much just meat with good salsa and good tortillas so it was above average but really nothing special going on there what do you agree cody yeah yeah maybe even closer to average but you know what it's steak so it's steak and i really like mexican so i feel <laughs> like we gotta bump it up and the the grill adds a nice element to yeah it. yeah so, yeah so we're going six on this one, above average. But bigger picture, me and Cody were just watching the Olympics and the US wasn't winning. Someone broke Phelps' record. So that leads us to wonder what our country is doing. Have we stopped hitting binge press? Have we stopped drinking protein beers? Is White Claw really to blame for us losing races? Oh, I feel like we gotta cap up the night with some bench press, don't uh, we? Uh, I think so. Instead of bench pressing these beers. Where should I hit it, Cody? Uh, in your usual spot. My usual spot? Your usual spot. The huge. Spot me, spot me. <laughs> you get it?